Father, where are we going? Oh. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. Which way we headed, lad? In... the direction of deer. Do you wish to speak of what happened? I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, rock, Sindri's face. Son. There it is. Accuracy over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. When an animal is wounded. It must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. Find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm going to say to him. Of course. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Swanner. <laughs> it's Becky. 
Come. We can take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Ah! Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sentry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge is the work. We can get up to the temple that way. <gasps> Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri? Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Could that be the Odin you invited into my home? Some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills, my friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come, Atreus. Leave him be. 
more than how you wish. family too. You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, did I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail, or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means... We enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means we need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm, splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in Alfheim. And you? To Valheim? Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. No Niflheim, no Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in the shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh, my. Friends, I'm sorry to report negotiations aren't going well in Helheim. However, there's a chance Frostvelder might be more amenable of speaking to a member of the uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Oh! 
Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't... We deal with these first. Stronger, on the left! Focus. He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Well, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them?
that could work. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, starter? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get it. Big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Dunno. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, no one to attack Asgard. You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. Soder, were you... <laughs> ...at the beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gjallowen. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. <laughs> about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Samara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the spark's fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here.
This will hurt. Help me! Oh, Grant us 
Mr. Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Gro was right. Gro failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. Ah! Yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanir Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Well, this is it then. Beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they?
Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever Groa's deception, he heard the truth as Tyr. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air. And with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Due respect, love. I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening, he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he... The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? F is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. We 
somewhere quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. In circumstance, yes. But not in purpose. to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that a part of me dies as well. Okay. Do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. I came to these lands to escape my past, to start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here. Nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough no matter the cost. This ends today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, that's where I'll be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock.
Muspelheim Tower has fallen. And if Odin goes after Niflheim next... They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Got work to do. You three, follow them. Atreus, Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! Push forward!
Up here. Jorman Gander! A welcome sight. But he didn't follow us from Midgard. Curious. You'll keep Thor busy at least. Here we go, I'll find you. Giant's made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind later. The Ain Herjar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. But still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Tower. It is better this way. Better for who? The dwarves are here! Way to go, Sindri! Ah! It's just Sindri! I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this! Sin! We... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the wall. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giant. what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? 
And guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice. Everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, so. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Him. I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Shut up and fight.
control me. <laughs> I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. Sindri, no! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us. Knowing they can't fight, their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend, our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Throat. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... ...was our own. We can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. Uh. You don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally.
Hold on. Hold on. Who is the girl? Hi! Through Thor's daughter! Thor's daughter? Yeah! 
great launch. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Miles. That may not be our biggest problem, right? Get back to your sister. You must hold back, Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just... Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you. So I trust you. Stay away from her! Dad, wait! I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do! It's what we are! You won't be enough! I can take it! Can you? Is that it? Shut 
Try to hurt her! <laughs> I would not. <clears throat> Don't you know... ...what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. I destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children, we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think you kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Get out! 
this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh, oh. What? Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore. And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know... You've never loved anyone! Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Rower tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. Did 
you do that? What was it all for? You choose to be nothing! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frick? So have I! Too late for that!
was our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms. Or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apra, Desu. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. 
Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hare. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried. You know? I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort... And knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki. It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. <laughs> huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she... Shoulder? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you!
I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Eldis Vini. And it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Mm. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, 
pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Ainhuryar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Yodanheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. You are ready. Remember our promise.
did you see in there, brother? Well... One I had never imagined. And what now? to it. lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Uh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. They are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Sentry. Blood Puss. Bigger, the more you take away. <laughs> 